Uh, good afternoon. I want to talk about uh, business and team building, I guess, is what uh, I'm still reading Steve Jobs' book, and it sounds even though like he was a genius, but he was demanding, which a person who is self-actualized, has a dream, has to be demanding. They're usually known as assholes. Um, I'm not saying, I'm not condescending in any way. I'm saying that he would say to people, you know, you're not a team quality, get off the team. Now, when that's done in business, there seems to be a, a judgment around it. When it's done for basketball, it seems to be okay. And he uh, needed high-quality people around him uh, to get done what he did get done, what he accomplished in his lifetime. Um, but in the midst of reading that, you know, my daughter called from school. Uh, she's in a high school on the other side of Switzerland, and they were talking about things that had happened uh, just before a long weekend, a holiday long weekend they had, uh, where a lot of the kids came home. And she said the more they find out about it, the more that's been done. Uh, that's not that's frowned upon by the school, and I guess quite frankly, some of it illegal. Uh, um, they did recreational drugs, which we all know are illegal. Uh, there's a lot of American cultured kids there who seem to carry all kinds of drugs, but those aren't illegal. Those are legal drugs. That's I said the paradox or the confusion opening up as or growing up as a kid in America must be you know say no to drugs, drugstore, you know and. Uh, but these are the recreation drugs. These are the ones that may expand your mind and make a difference. These are the ones that we think you should take uh, to dumb you down. But that's not the point of this. Uh, I, sorry I got off a little bit on my... Uh, but she said, I said, you know, is the, are the drugs part of the... There's two systems, the Swiss European system and the, and the English system, the American system. Uh, kids coming to school for both of them. And I said, are they part of the... European system. She said, no, no, these these are definitely American system kids. And I said, well, then it's one person. She said, that's true. And uh, I kind of thought she would relate to that. Uh, I was consulting in a business years ago in Las Vegas. And uh, before I got the consulting gig, the owner came out and did self-actualization. And she said her uh, business had plateaued. And I said, okay, you have one person who doesn't want the business to go. You have one saboteur. And uh, she said, how do you know that? I said, just, it's, a, it's the rule. It's, it's how things work. One person comes in, influences other people, and, and it keeps things from being productive, or it takes them down a path of things that are not only illegal, but not that, that are extremely frowned upon. And uh, the solution is quite simple. Always has been, always will be, but it doesn't seem to be uh, done that way. Uh, the person who is the instigator should be fired, let go, put back to where they were, um, but go do what they want to do. If they want to go initiate shit in another part of their lives, they can do that. But go in, find the instigator, and uh, get rid of them. They say that that was the uh, effectiveness of the Texas Rangers, even they were, though they were small numbers. <laughs> and uh, Years ago I was talking about the Texas Rangers. I think I said this, and I said to my wife, you know about the Texas Rangers. And she said, uh, baseball, right? And I said that to another Swiss person, and they said baseball, right? And I almost forgot that there was a Texas Rangers team. I was, you know, the Rangers would go in. Uh, there's a story about that uh, there were riots in El Paso, and they sent a telegraph to the Rangers, and they said, you know, there's a, a, uh, there's a riot. You know, you need to send some Rangers. And they said, we'll send a Ranger. And they said, no, no, there's like thousands of people rioting. And they said, okay, we'll send two. Because what they had the capacity to do was go and see who was the troublemaker uh, and, I guess, deliver an ultimatum in such a way. Uh, so if you're having trouble, look and see. If there's one person, you're going to have to be ruthless around it. Uh, sometimes it's real easy to get people out of your life. Sometimes it isn't. But if you're not ruthless about it, they're going to stay there and cause you trouble. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com